Hogwarts Legacy has these puzzles on doors in the castle, and you can find them very early in the game. At first glance, these are very tricky, but I'm going to give you the solution to these puzzles, and once you know how to do it, it's incredibly easy. You will have to walk up to the door, the like face of the door will be blank when you first see them, you'll have to walk up to the door, then reveal this puzzle. If you have a look at the archway that goes around the door, that is a symbol, like each of the symbols represents a number. And it starts on the bottom left hand side being zero, and it goes up and round until you get to nine. As an example, the spider on the right hand side is the number eight. You will also see these triangle circle things that you can roll, they're, I'm going to say they're dice. You can find these near the doors, but like this door, they might not always be exactly where the door is. But the way to know which one you're interacting with is you'll see here there's a single question mark. And then if we run upstairs, you will see that the dice up here has two question marks. So we know which triangle we're trying to solve because you've got an upwards facing triangle and a downwards facing triangle on the door. If I try and open the door, it's locked. You cannot get in there. So you need to solve the puzzle. So what you need to do is basic maths. It's just addition. You need to have a look at the numbers and figure out what the like remaining symbols are that you need to use to unlock the doors. So if we have a look at the top triangle, we need to get a total of 21. We have 11. Then we have the symbol on the left hand side of the arch which represents 2. So that's 11 and 2 is 13. We need 8. So this first one will be a spider. So if we roll all the way through until we get the spider symbol. There we go. And then the bottom down facing triangle, we need to get a total of 17. And if we have a look at this weird, like the top left symbol, I'm going to say it's like a crab. That is up the top there so from the left zero one two three four five and then it's going to be nine because we've got the bottom right symbol there so nine and five make 14 so we need three so zero one two three so that's what like a three-headed dragon or something so if we go upstairs and we change this until we get the three-headed thing there i don't know what it's called then we go back to the door and we try and open it, the puzzle disappears and the door opens. And it works the same for every single door you find like this in Hogwarts Castle. Then we go inside, we've got a herbologist hat, so we've got a piece of gear. And that is how to solve the door puzzles in Hogwarts Castle. And that's going to do it for this video. Check out this video if you want to see other content on the channel. I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.